today, hundreds of people rallied in support of Ukraine near San Francisco's Ferry Building. Protesters say they're inspired by Ukraine standing up to Russia. I think what Russians do is horrible because many people have to leave their houses, many people died, many people, like, their families broke. And I think it's horrible and people need to pay more attention to that. Today's rally included a march to Pier 39 where organizers played Ukraine's national anthem. The war is personal for so many people in the U.S., even beyond the refugees who have arrived since the invasion. One local tech company says about a third of their employees live in Ukraine. Devin Feely spoke with a man who's trying to keep his job while living in a war zone. I couldn't sleep because I was thinking about, like, that it is a year, a year of our life, and it's not the end. Andrei Chamas is talking about the waking nightmare of the war in Ukraine one year after the Russians first invaded his homeland. You can see, like, missiles flying from your window at your home, and... Just this, this feeling that anything could happen like in a few hours or, or minutes. Andrei spoke to us from his home in western Ukraine in the city of Lviv. He says he's thankful to be some distance removed from the front lines of the war, but says he lives nonetheless with a near constant dread and anxiety that comes when your country is a war zone. It's just unfair what's happening to them, and we're just so proud of them and their bravery and, and trying to do everything we can to help them. Andy Kurzik is the CEO of the tech company Just Answer and Andrei's boss. And even before the invasion, his company had about a third of its workforce, roughly 350 employees, in Ukraine. He says his mission is to support those employees, whether they're fighting on the front line or writing lines of code for the company's website. Some days are, are, are calm and, and they can do their jobs almost like normal. In other days, missiles are heading their way and the air raid sirens are going off and they got to run to a bomb shelter and, and, and sit there for, you know, hours and hours on end. Kurzik has raised more than $3 million to help the people of Ukraine, even opening a mental health center in Lviv, acknowledging that the wounds of war can be emotional as well as physical. I've been there twice. I've looked them in the eye and every single one of them is ready and willing to fight to the death for their country. For now, Andrei lives with his wife and nine-year-old daughter in Lviv, but could be called to active military service at any time as the deadly and disruptive conflict enters into its second year. The only way to, to stop the war is just for Russians to just, just to step back and go away. That's, that's the only reason. I'm, and I, I cannot see any other options. We will fight till the end.